Hi, I'm Rosie. I've been a bookseller for a little over four years at One More Page Books, and as of last summer, I am the curator of the wine. Hi, Rosie. Hi, Amanda. How did you get into bookselling? Oh, well, okay, actually, um, on Independent Bookstore Day in 2016, I came to visit One More Page and totally fell in love with the atmosphere here and all you guys, and I asked Eileen for a job. Good work. Yeah. <laughs> Success. <laughs> what is your favorite part of the job? Definitely hand-selling books that I really, really love. Like, if I can convince somebody through, like, my enthusiasm and passion for a specific title, especially if it's by one of my favorite authors, then that's a great feeling. Do you have any memorable moments here at One More Page? Oh, well, so, so, you know, oftentimes when people come in and they're looking for a gift for somebody and I say, oh, you know, do you, do you know what kind of stuff they like and blah, blah, like, do they like sci-fi or fantasy? Usually a person will be like, ugh, blah, whatever. But um, on the occasions that we get somebody who really loves it, like a specific um, customer who all of us know and love to recommend books to, um, I got him to buy like some N.K. Jemisin and Gideon the Ninth and um, R.F. Quang, like all in one go. And that was fantastic because I was just like, oh, this stack of books is amazing. Nice. Um, I think we've heard it a little bit, but what are your favorite genres to read? <laughs> mm. Do you like sci-fi and fantasy, Rosie? No. <laughs> yes, that's my. Those are my favorite genres. But I do read um, narrative nonfiction that's usually about science, but um, food writing and wine writing as well. Yum. And if you had to recommend one book right now. To the people watching this video, what would you recommend? Way to put me on the spot. Um, you were sent these questions in advance. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> um, ooh, okay, so, so far my favorite book this year has been The City We Became by N.K. Jemisin. Um, basically, it's the story of this sort of... <sighs> cities can take on a life of their own, and when they do, the soul of the city inhabits people who embody what the city is. So this takes place in New York, and because New York has several boroughs, New York has five souls. And these people have to meet up and cooperate, even though they're very different and they're all from completely different walks of life, and they have to save New York from being killed by basically a Lovecraftian monster from another dimension. Amazing. Thanks so much, Rosie, and thanks all of you for listening to Bookseller Bios from One More Page Books. Bye!